Hey everyone and welcome back to Studio 3B. Today I wanted to go and continue my Linux method installation tutorial for Hackintosh. I wanted to return back to the concept of USB mapping. So they have this updated tool called USB Toolbox, which is kind of the evolution or newer version of USB mapping from uh, the older USB map tool. I wanted to give this a try. I still rely personally on USB mapping because it works better when you're mapping from Mac OS. But assuming you're coming from Linux, you might be a Puritan and not want to install Windows, or maybe you don't have Mac OS yet and you don't want to go the old route of the USB mapping method. So this is going to be more of a Puritan way of getting the USB map to work using USB toolbox. So let's go about this. This is the first time for me using some of these methods, so bear with me. So you could, use, you could use from Windows, but I'm assuming you don't have Windows or you, your Windows is not installed on the machine that you're currently wanting to Hackintosh. So if that's your case, you can stick with me. If you have Windows, that's fine. Just, just, just go about running this program and uh, run it from Windows and you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, but for those that do not want to install Windows, there is this from Windows PE method. So PE is uh, a, like a very small version of Windows that runs on a thumb drive. And the unfortunate thing about Windows PE is that apparently you can only get it from Windows. So it's kind of a catch 22. So you want to install a tool not using Windows, but you still need Windows to get that tool. So. Uh, the jokes on on me. So I did a little research and I, and I googled how to create a bootable Windows PE USB without using Windows. So I found uh, this on Super User, and I'll put a link to this in the description. But as apparently, you have this higher ends boot CD PE. So if I open that in the new tab, and it seems to have a bunch of great tools available, and I could just download this ISO and install that on a USB but it has to be bootable. So there's a little instruction here on the second answer and I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, for the first time on this video, I'm gonna give that a shot and just see if it works. So we're gonna create a partition table and it's gonna be an empty DOS partition table. I'm just reading through the instructions right now. It's gonna be a partition type FAT32. We're gonna set it to bootable and write changes and all that stuff. Then we're gonna make a FAT partition and then we're gonna mount it. We're gonna mount using loop the ISO and we are going to copy the contents onto the USB. So first thing you need is a USB and I have one. So let's let's download the ISO just to see how big it is. Oh, it says it right here, 3.06 gigabytes. Okay, so I have a, I have a drive in there. Ah, looks like an old Volumio installation. Great, awesome. Well, I'm gonna overwrite that. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to a terminal, okay? And I'm gonna follow these instructions. So they want me to run fdisk. So first I wanna figure out which disk am I gonna run fdisk on? So let's go sudo fdisk-l for that list of partitions. And all right, looks like the Volumio disk is dev sdc. Um, I know that because it says ultra, so it's a SanDisk ultra, and I could tell by the size that it is approximately 30 gigs more or less. So let's figure out where this thing is mounted. So let's go to run media, my name. There's the, the two mount points. So let's, let's copy this path. Let's CD to this path. Let's unmount Volumio and Volumio. Yeah. Great. Now that's unmounted. Now we could sudo fdisk dev sdc. So if the disk is mounted, it won't work properly. Let's go back to the tutorial. So it says O to create an empty DOSH partition table. Let's press new for new primary partition. P for primary, we'll leave it to one. First sector zero, last sector end. I'm just pressing enter there. Let's press T and you wanna remove the signature, sorry. Yes, yes, I wanna remove the signature from Linux. And then I wanna do T for type and then if you do L, you can list all, but the answer here that we want is B. B is Windows 95 FAT32. Okay, well, we'll just do that. And then A to set the disk to bootable, partition one. And then we're gonna write the changes to disk. It says disconnect and reconnect the USB to pick up the partition. 
Okay, so we could do, I uh, reconnected the USB. If we do LSBLK, you can see that SDC is there and it's a partition, uh, 28 gigs. So now I wanna make a fat partition. Uh, you wanna format it using make FS. So let's do sudo make FS dot fat hash F32 dev SDC one. Now it says mount the ISO. So let's download that ISO. We downloaded the ISO. So now let's go to make a directory to mount this at. So clear sudo make directory mnt dv. And then we're gonna go sudo mount dash o loop downloads hbcd underscore pe, etc. cetera. Uh, forward slash mnt forward slash dvd. And it says it's read only, write protected, which is fine because we're just gonna copy the contents. Now it says copy all the contents. So sudo, sudo copy dash r mount dvd all contents to run media your name to the usb there so let's take a look at the name of that usb it just says 31 gigabyte volume all right looks like we never named this drive so it's just got this weird name so uh, after clicking on the drive in files it becomes uh, available in your mount directory so let's go sudo copy dash r mount dvd forward slash all to run media your name and then the volume name which here is five two etc just a random string uh, let's copy that okay finally 20 minutes later uh, i have copied the files from the high rens boot cd to my usb now i want to download the usb toolbox program let's go to releases and let's go to the latest release and download the the windows.exe let's copy that to the volume here let's paste it right there okay so i guess windows.exe will be the program that has the toolbox so what i'm going to do is try to reboot to this usb thumb drive and see if it allows me to do my usb mapping stay tuned okay we're going to reboot this computer with the Windows PE USB in there and I'm going to press delete uh, go to the boot and go to the UEFI of your USB drive and this will give you a loading files Windows like progress bar then you get the Windows like spinner it's still initializing in the upper left you can see that it's still initializing all right and then it's just checking some Wi-Fi stuff all right so now we're in this Windows-like utility. Um, it's booting straight off the USB, and it looks a lot like Windows. It has a couple uh, really valuable utilities on here called Hirens Boot CD. And what I'm gonna do is go to a Explorer and go to the USB drive where it's booted from. And in there, there's the windows.exe that we downloaded from the USB toolbox website. So let's go ahead and run that program. All right, and then it's as simple as saying D discover ports. All right, and this does a pretty good job, apparently, from what I've read of discovering your ports. So what you see is that it refreshes every five seconds. So what it wants you to do is take your USB thumb drive and insert it into each USB port on your computer. Um, as you do that, it'll refresh and it'll discover that port. So once you're done doing all that, so every five seconds, just put the USB in a new port and the port will be discovered. So once that's done, oh, B for back, okay. And then I'm going to say S, select ports and build kext. So select which ports I want. So I'm gonna press A, select all to enable all ports. And then or k build utb map dot kext. Port 19 is missing a connector type. Okay, so let's press b back. Uh, let's say 19, there we go. So basically I punched in the 19 to disable port 19 because that's coming back as unknown. So let's try this again. Let's try build utb map dot kext k. And it looks like it saved it to the y drive in utb map dot kext. Okay. So that should be my file that I put on my installer. If 
for Mac OS in the EFI Kex folder. So let's go back to Fedora and finish that up. Okay, now that we've rebooted from the Hiram's Windows PE USB drive back into Fedora, um, let's go to our files and let's see that we have in here a utbmap.kex folder. So let's copy that. And let's just put that somewhere, let's just say in our documents folder for now. All right, so now let's eject this USB and let's put in our Mac OS Hackintosh open core USB. Okay, and let's copy the utbmap.kext and let's paste that into the EFI OC Kex directory. Now this is a UTP map that's specific for your PC and will work with your ports. Delete the UTP uh, default and leave the USB toolbox.kext in there. Let's go ahead and go to proper tree. So go to a terminal and go to Python 3 downloads proper tree proper tree.py and if you open your config.p list on your USB drive go to root run media your name USB EFI OC config.p list and then what you just want to do is OC snapshot it's like the OC directory. Now, if you save that, that will have the UTB map for your particular architecture loaded. Let's go down and take a look at that. So here's the USB toolbox, and here's the UTB map.kext. So this should map perfectly for your computer. Now to test this out, I'll reboot with the USB back to the installer to make sure that the, the mouse still works, just to show that the USB is working. Okay, I'm going to hit delete, go to the Kingston Data Traveler, UEFI, hit spacebar, go up to USB external DMG. Okay, and my mouse still works, so that's indicative to me that the UTB map that we built custom using the Windows PE uh, works properly. So congratulations, your USB our UTB map is complete. If you like this video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more audio and technology content.